This is quite an interesting device. I bought it from OS Components a long time ago, um, and I think it's obsolete now. They, I think they've discontinued this product, and um, I think most companies have. I'm not sure if there are any reliability issues or it's just been superseded by something else, but it, it's interesting because it's a universal din rail mounting timer that's programmable using just two buttons to do an absolutely massive range of things. It's like the only timer you need for a control panel because it offers things like um, an on-delay timer, an off-delay timer, um, the um, single-shot timer, recycling timers. It's just all these different options. Um, and the time range is huge. It goes from a resolution of 0.1 of a second right up to 999 hours. Um, and you can choose the range seconds, hours or minutes. And the input can be chosen as either being a level or just being triggered on an edge. It's, it's very good. And the voltage range is from about 12 volts AC or DC right up to 260 volts AC or DC. So it's really very versatile. Inside, is the relay itself that's controlling the outputs. Um, the, all the circuitry is actually contained on the front with the LCD display. And then there's two lithium cells. And the reason for the two lithium cells is because this relay is powered from the cells. It's not actually powered by the supply coming into it. The input um, terminals are purely driving um, an opto-isolator to tell it when the um, input is active high. And there's a choice of terminals uh, which give the, give the range of 12 to 48 volts and then the other terminals give the range of 48 to 260 volts. And it's just basically a simple resistor for the uh, lower voltages going up to a capacitive um, limiter, I think, here, for the higher voltages, which makes sense. The relay is a remnants relay. It's got uh, two transistors and if you look at the back, it's got three terminals in the coil. And that's because the coil has one common, and then when either of the um, effectively two coils are energised, it causes a magnet to either latch in one direction or the other. So it basically it's got a memory, the relay. You don't have to supply power to it all the time, which is good because it is being powered from lithium cells inside. Now, that does unfortunately mean that if you've got an application that's driving this really a lot, then I'm not sure how long these cells would last. It was rated, theoretically, a 10-year battery life. Um, but I'm not sure if, um, you know, if you had an application that was just battering this really all the time, um, if it was using it as a very short time delay and it was cycling a lot, it could actually eat the battery life quite quickly. On the other hand, low usage, like this has been just sitting in a shelf for a long time, and uh, I've had this for oh, goodness knows how long. I really haven't a clue. But um, it could actually well be 10 years or more. And um, it's it's still operating. So um, that suggests that, you know, it's, um, you know, the battery is, with light use, it could actually last quite a length of time. The downside is that because it's so versatile, if someone messes about, if, if someone holds these two buttons in, it does a wee countdown sequence, and once it's reached uh, zero, it goes into programming mode. And if someone just randomly pressed buttons to try and get out of that, they're going to be programming loads of parameters into this. And you could end up going to a panel that this is in, and if the documentation is missing, as so often happens in control panels, you might not even know what this timer, the function of it was. Also, when the batteries go flat, I'm guessing it just crashes out and it stops working. And likewise, you wouldn't know, it wouldn't be like you could read the side of it and say, oh yes, it was that type of timer. Um, it, you'd be having to work out from the actual panel's circuitry exactly what its function was. But um, having said that, you know, it's, it's quite an interesting little device. It's actually quite an interesting device indeed. It's The fact it does so many things means that um, as a uh, emergency stopgap type timer or even just general, uh, you know, repair stock, it's quite 
a good idea because one timer does all those functions. So quite neat. And I suppose that if you're really technically minded, if you had some of these in a job, you could theoretically just replace the lithium cells uh, when it reached the end of its um, working life. Unless, of course, they really were starting to give contact problems as well. But yeah, quite a neat device. Um, I think it's quite a smart design.